again. My name is Gabe Zona. This is the 8th of February, 2019. You know, if you watch some of my previous videos, I had said that organizations like 23andMe were probably established by the CIA. No different than the CIA established Google, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and who knows whatever else. It's all data mining. That's all they're for. And so is 23andMe and similar organizations. I had said it's just a matter of time before the FBI have access to that information. They've already captured a number of murderers through DNA sent in by relatives of those murderers. Using DNA database to find your distant relatives, question mark, so is the FBI. It's getting close to the point that almost everyone with European heritage will have a third cousin in these databases, written by Salvador Hernandez. A majority of Americans could be genetically traced by the FBI using consumer genealogy database in pinpointing a distant family member, DNA researchers say, greatly expanding investigators' ability to identify members of the public suspected of crimes. How about their ability to place your DNA at the scene of a crime? Huh? With access to two large consumer geology libraries, federal investigators now have the potential to find a DNA match as close as a third cousin to more than half of Americans. And the growing popularity of the at-home testing kits means it will only get easier with time. More than 15 million people have purchased direct-to-consumer genetic testing kits that reveal the makeup of their ancestry and disclose distant relatives, but the booming sales have also become a valuable source for law enforcement. You know, they're charging about $100 for each kit. It's a lot of money. Go well, profit center for the CIA. The services have raised significant questions over privacy, but the debate took on new significance last week after BuzzFeed News reported that Family Tree DNA, one of the largest private genetic testing firms, has allowed the FBI to search its genealogy database. In essence, doubling the number of profiles authorities can try to match with crime scene DNA. Using public genealogy database like GEDmatch, law enforcement has already begun to harness genetic data to search for distant relatives of suspected serial killers and rapists, aiming to crack cases that have gone cold for decades. According to a leading researcher in the field, in just a few years, more people in the U.S. might be linked in the database to relative as close as a second cousin. It's getting close to the point that almost everyone with European heritage will have a third cousin in these databases, said Ivank Ehrlich, chief science officer at MyHeritage, one of the largest consumer DNA testing companies and an assistant professor of computational biology at Columbia University. You want to read the rest of the article? You'll see a photograph of 23andMe. That's just one of them. Begin your DNA journey. <laughs> Folks, I had said that that's why those programs have been created. They not only want to know everything about you, they want your DNA. And we pay to give it to them. Read the article, pass it along to your like-minded friends, repost it in all your social media accounts. Don't you feel like a rab rat? A lab rat, they, they know everything about you. <laughs> they meaning the CIA, including your DNA. Thanks for listening.